also a good morning, afternoon, and evening freshers, depending, of course, when you're watching this. Uh, today we're going to have quick fire dishes for that hangover that you really just can't get rid of. We all know you can't be bothered to do it for hours and hours on end, especially when lessons start. So, for starters, we're going to do burgers, good old favourite, and one of the best hangover cures you really have if you're still feeling it by dinner time. So, without further ado, let's get started! So this dish is very simple. The base ingredients, obviously the bun. Can't have a burger without a bun, can we? And then we also have the actual burger itself, which is beef mince in this case. You can use chicken or any other meat you so desire. Then we also have onions, which um, we can both put inside the burger and also separately on top of the little burger itself. And then also we have a variety of dressings. You can put whatever you want in your burger. Today we're just going to use lettuce and tomatoes. Nice and simple. So the first step is getting the meat that you so desire and then starting to squeeze it into a pan until eventually you get something that resembles a burger. You can of course add onions to this or you can just use flour and butter to make your own breadcrumbs. You put it into the mince and you mix it all together and then you do the same process as what you're seeing here. And then that way you'll get at least twice the amount of burger for your buck. Okay, so while we prepare the other ingredients, the mince mainly, what we're going to do is we're just going to get the pan to heat up nicely with a bit of olive oil, just so that we're all ready for cooking. Nice and simple, and I'll just get the heat on right now. Okay, so now that I've got the patties there and the, the pan is nice and heated up, all we've got to do, we've just got to start cooking the patties and the onions at the same time. The reason why we do it at the same time is then the flavours kind of mix together. So now that they're in, all we're going to do is we're just going to fry each side of the burger and we're going to fry the onions probably around about 5 to 7 minutes. We want enough time for the onions to soften and also enough time for the burger to be cooked through on each side. If you like your burger a little bit more rare, if you're using red meat, then you can probably do it for a little less, maybe 4 minutes. Or if you want it more well done, go for about 10. Yeah, I'm probably not going to cook it for that long just because I personally prefer my burgers rare. Uh, and also, just look at those onions. Look how they're starting to crisp over while they're softening as well. This is something you've got to keep just right. Looking beautiful so far. Right, so now the burgers are almost ready. All we're going to do is we're going to move this around so it makes it a little bit easier. Just so that we were ready for serving up. And as you're going to see, I'm just going to take the pan off the heat. Leave that for just a minute to cool down, just so that way the oil doesn't spit to us while we serve. That's why I call Bloody Mary. Okay, so now it's off the heat. We've already cut the buns open. Some of them come pre-cut depending on what you get in the shop. And just going to put the burger in the bun. It's always good to put the burger in the bun first, and that way it allows any fat just to drip through before starting adding all the vegetables. Okay, so now we've got the burgers in the bun, now we get to do the nice little decorating fence bit, the bit where you get to make the burger your own. So, the onions that we um, cooked earlier, we're just now going to put them on. Alright, and then of course we have our lettuce and tomatoes, which we're then just going to just happily place on top. And then the lettuce. And then, the final touch, the top part of the bun. Nice, simple, you just put it on top. And there you have it. Simple as that. <laughs>